Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. And it feels really good to be back. Uh, I've been gone for, I think, more than 17 days. And it, it was an awesome vacation. And uh, there was, we visited my whole family and there were the, vo the weather, speaking of the weather, was phenomenal. I mean, we were usually the weather in Poland is rainy, wet, cold, and that's what we have been for the past several summers. But this summer, it was hot, warm, sunny every single day. Best weather I could have absolutely wished for, and it was just amazing. So, it uh, feels good to be back, and I am glad that, you know, the season is starting again with the weather videos. So, uh, if you want to, you know, get a good start to the season, uh, you could consider subscribing to my channel. All you gotta do is click the subscribe button, and you will be subscribed to my channel. It helps my channel grow it also helps me um get more viewers and it just really really helps me so and it also shows me like the videos so let's just get into this today we're gonna be talking about the pattern change i'm gonna call it the upcoming but i think it's already in place um very very wet across much of the mid-atlantic um the rain has been non-stop if we go to the national weather service page i should have pulled this up i apologize i did not though now you're uh, so let's wait for this to load again. I'm probably going to be getting better Wi-Fi, but this for now, as of now, it's really poor. But you can see uh, the flash flood warning, the flash flood watches, I should rather say, are all over the place. And flood watches as well. So, uh, the, yeah, they're just about everywhere in the Mid-Atlantic. I mean, not, not everywhere in the United States, but in the Mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, and parts of southern Nebraska. Uh, they're pretty plentiful. Ohio, the tri-state area, Cincinnati, Dayton, all those areas are pretty filled with water. Arlington, Virginia got some heavy rain the other day. They're showing it. And uh, it seems to be a, a reoccurring pattern. Very, very heavy rain. You can see today, heavy rain. So, um, not really good in terms of that. Let's go to the GFS and let's go look at... Fuck, uh, let's look at the, t uh, the precipitation. So, you can see that... Uh, there's this pattern where the Gulf of Mexico is open to uh, open to business, and it's just sending lots and lots of these storms northeastward. So basically, it's starting from the south, and it's absolutely slamming these storms, sending them like this. Uh, Maybe you no, know, obviously there's some deviance off that, but generally in this direction. And if we uh, if we look at this, that's that seems to be the pattern. So let's go back to our 24, and let's look at this you can see they're moving northeastwards and during the day there's these big 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 clusters that form i mean some of these are going to be producing heavy rain heavy thunderstorms uh heavy precipitation so very very heavy um moisture in the atmosphere that's just going to be drowning out many uh, cities and many um you know plants the farmers have been having a hard time this year already and uh, i've been keeping track of the weather uh from poland in, in of the u.s but definitely not to the extent i would like but hey what do you do well i mean what can i do really uh i'll show you the temperatures in just a minute but you can see uh it just seems to be occurring yet again yet again look a little bit of snow in the mountains still across colorado nothing unheard of and um look at that there's a high pressure but still there's some rain i don't know if that's a glitch but sometimes that does happen i remember one time there was a big storm that happened um across Cross. It was tracking. It was in the winter time a couple of years ago. There was a low right here across Arkansas, but it was producing lots of snow up here. But at the same time, there was a high pressure where the snow was, and it was a strange system, strange setup. But that's what happened. And you can see these storms are just moving to the northeast and eastward, which obviously most places see from northeast to east. Um, or, you know, eastward direction in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, storms move from the e west, or from the east to the west. Here, they move from the west to the east, um, generally. Um, and obviously, northeast included and southeast. And you can see that these, uh, nothing in the mornings, but then during the afternoon, you can see it just blows up into these giant clusters. Then they wind down, and we see another system blowing up. I mean, this is so unpredictable and so small that you can't really show anything. This is hour 246 out, 246 hours out, and you can't really be predicting this band of thunderstorms right here this front setting up um producing lots of thunderstorms we, we're not sure about that it's just so far out 
only thing we are sure about, almost confident, is that there is going to be lots of rain, lots of severe weather, and look at that, there's a system right there in southern Canada spinning up a lot of precip across the north um, around the time frame of uh, early July. July 4th, the early very outlook, again, looks rainy and typical, but what can you do? I mean, it's so far out, this will still change a thousand times, but... Um, th there will definitely be areas where rain will be occurring. So uh, let's look at the temperatures right now. Uh, the temperatures will be on a warming trend. I know that many locations, across, especially across uh, the Midwest, have been very cool, very uh, wet and cool. So, uh, you know, not really pleasant summer weather, but um, they're going to be on a rise. So today, a fairly warm across much of the country. Though, and definitely not uh, burning hot, definitely not scorching. You can see 80s and 90s, about the warmest it gets. Um, the southwest um, gets a little bit warmer, but that is uh, that is a typical for the southwest around the summer. And then you can see here, pretty cool, but tomorrow, another cool day. You can see, um, or you know, it's similar, pretty chilly across the north still, warm across the south, very cool across the northwest though. And then you can see even some frost going to be occurring across the higher elevations in the mountains but again that's typical so this is where we start seeing the warming trend you can see thursday we get hundreds across texas 90s these start pushing further and further to the north you can see 80s and 70s across the midwest now notice these things right these, these little blotches um these are thunderstorms that produce cooler air that they take it from the atmosphere they reach up really high they bring it down with the rain and it cools the area and you can see the two meter surface temperature there's these weird little areas where Everywhere around it's hot, just in that area it's cool, and that is where the thunderstorms are. And that's going to be occurring every day. You can see we're across different locations. And you can see 80s, almost 90s occurring across uh, June uh, 23rd, Sunday. This weekend seems to be very warm, and you can see uh, the temperature is definitely not backing down. Warm across the northeast, across the mid part, a little bit cooler across the northern part and the northwestern um, states. It seems to be as if the northwest and northern, like this section, let me draw this out with you, will be in the below average, and you will see that that in the, um, I will show you that in the 6 to 10 day outlook and 8 to 14 day outlook where it seems these locations, plus or minus obviously a few hundred miles because this is, uh, you know, th this is not really too uh, accurate, this drawing right here, but you can see it seems like this location right here will be cooler and these locations here will be warm, so warm and cold, or at least below average, I should say, maybe not cold and warm, but above and below average. So, uh, let's go, we're stuck on our 204, let's go back to 2198, and we can see that uh, the temperatures, again, they're on a warming trend, and it seems to be finally warming up into summer. Several days will still be cooler, you know, across several locations, you can see here is almost like a cold front, um, during, uh, you can see it's kind of like a dip in the jet stream right there, bringing cooler temperatures, that doesn't last for long the next day, it's already fairly warming, and it's starting to warm up even more, you can see 90s across the the west, so very, very warm temperatures uh, across m much of the uh, north central and plains. And then you can see, I remember how it was a little bit cooler across the west, that could be disappearing and it seems to be um, warm across much of the country at this point. Um, no no frosts, finally for once. Uh, you can see 60s, maybe some 50s at the, the highest elevations, but definitely on a warming trend across the country and that's how it's supposed to be. So it seems to be uh, like a pleasant pleasant outlook in terms of temperatures. So if you're if you're witnessing hot temperatures and you want some relief, Maybe if you're living in the West, that's it. But if you're experiencing some cold temperatures, which I know many are, uh, then yeah, nicer weather is definitely on its way. So very pleasant outlook in terms of the temperatures. Some sigh of relief. In terms of the uh, precip, I wanted to, I already showed you quite a bit of it. I just want to quickly show you the um, total accumulated precip to show you where the most will happen. And you can see our 384 out, quite a bit of precip. I mean, look at that. There's some of these yellow amounts, which is over 12 inches. Will 12 inches of rainfall? Probably not um, this, you know, widespread, but they're definitely local, uh, localized amounts of 12 inches will by far be almost likely. Like it's, you could see um, southwestern Canada potentially seeing quite a frenzy of rain, and uh, the west seeing absolutely almost none, especially in California and Nevada. Northwest, moderate amounts. North, pretty good amounts um, across the northern U.S. and just the east, very, you know, great. <laughs> Look at that luscious amounts of rain. I mean, look at that. Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, the Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic, 
I mean, gracious amounts of rain, lots of rain, and this seems to be uh, a trend, so we will have to see how this goes, but at this point, uh, very, uh, you know, moist and uh, warm conditions are on our, their way, which is, you know, what many people like. Um, and now we are back on. So uh, again, this is what happens every time I go over 10 minutes, which I'll get fixed soon enough. So six to 10 day outlook, uh, June 23rd, spanning from June 23rd to through June 27th. You could see again, those cooler temperatures across the West and warmer across the East. Um, above average, I should say, and below average across the West. This isn't um, how much below average it will be. This is the confidence in um, whether it will be a below or above average. And then in terms of precipitation, you can see a good chunk of the country being above average. Um, I'm not too sure about the northwestern part. Uh, it seems like they'll be dry. Uh, or no, they had, sorry, that was temperatures. I'm getting this confused. It's been pretty, it's been pretty uh, long journey on a plane. So I do apologize if I'm missing up some of these uh, things. So yeah, no, it's pretty wet for the northwest and much of the country. But in terms of temperatures, it's cool across the northwest. And in terms of 8 to 14 day outlook, June 25th through July 1st, 2019, we are looking at below average conditions across the west and above average conditions across the east. I mean, generally, that's the best way to put it. You could see no no really northeast condition, no, no, no really section of the country is just all warm. The northeast or the southeast, it seems to be the whole east above average and the whole west below average. And then uh, where that line falls is around the, basically the start of the Rockies. And then the precipitation, maybe, you know, a little bit further to the east. But then the pro pro pre pre precipitation probability, um, they're, you know, not as confident, obviously, in the war, in the above of average in terms of precip and that's obvious because it's further out but still seems to be a ongoing trend for the north to be above average and the south to be below average so thank you guys so much for watching um consider subscribing consider liking the video and i will be making definitely more of these videos with no more 17 day break um for the rest of this year so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you all guys in the next episode see ya